what is up, what is up, what is up, FS Club new Let's Play series, guys. Yes, Let's Plays are coming back. We're not only going to be doing this one, we're going to be doing a lot more Let's Plays, like maybe some Gold Rush, Train Sims, a lot of simulation kind of games, and even more. But anyways, what days will these Let's Plays come out? Wednesday through Sunday, 4 p.m., 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, if you guys have not hit that like button yet, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you are a new subscriber, make sure you guys do hit that sub button and welcome to the channel. But anyways, what is this series? It is going to be in a playlist. This is Six Ashes. This is out on every single platform. We are, of course, going to be using Seasons, and it's going to be a Rags to Riches. What is Rags to Riches? Starting off with very little bit of money, no money cheats, no fast farming, nothing like that. Uh, broken down equipment, and we only have like maybe one or two pieces of land. Try to see how fast we can expand. It's going to be about 30 to 40 episodes. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Well, guys, let's get to the farming. Here we go. guys welcome to six ashes here we are rags to riches new let's play i've been wanting to do one of these for a while i know we kind of got away from doing the whole let's play series but it is back and i am so glad it is back okay of course in this series guys you're gonna be seeing me trying to build up this farm into something very successful and uh well hopefully we can turn it into something successful i mean we have twenty five thousand dollars right now that is it but let me go over some of the starting equipment if you guys were in last night's live stream, you guys basically see me setting up a little bit of it. But this is the first episode. First episode. Okay, but anyways, this field right here we do own. It is a starting field. This one is a pretty big field. It is 51. Uh, let's see. I have already planted it. It's got canola. It has been limed. It has been plowed. The only thing, it has not been fertilized. So that's what we're going to probably be doing today. But at first, I'm going to show you guys our beautiful farm with so much equipment and there it is <laughs> yeah we have tons of equipment okay we have a refuelable uh gas well gas tank i think it has about 4300 liters of fuel in it so if we run out of that that is all we have until we get some more uh we have a corn header right there and then right over here we have a nice huge plow right here this is the coon and then of course we have the beautiful tlx uh, yeah, as you guys can see, that beautiful paint job right there. We call it the blue splatter. Really nice. We also have, of course, a spreader. This is the dual action spreader. We can use it to spread lime. We can use it to spread fertilizer, which we're going to be using that today to spread some fertilizer because we already spread lime on that already. Okay, but there's that. And if we go over here, we have the huge harvester. We have the bison, which I have not actually used in FS19, so this is going to be very interesting. And then right over here is our cedar, the Vertisted, uh Spirit R300S, and the only tractor we have on this farm, which is the favorite 515C, and that is it. And of course we have our silo. So that's our farm. Yep, that is our whole farm. We also have, if you go over here, let's open up this gate real quick. Here is another piece of our farm. This is all of our grass, which we'll probably be cutting it to try to get some some kind of extra kind of money on here. We have our workshop right over here, which we should probably be using sometime soon to fix our vehicles. And then if you go all the way down over here, this is our house right here. Beautiful house, right? We do have a garage, so we could actually put our TLX in there. And then if you go right to here, here is our house. And that is our piece of land. But in the future, I am already looking to expand, which right down over here, well, if we keep going down over here, is this other farm. I forget what the name of this farm is. Let's go right here. There it is right there. It is called the Pine View Farm. As you guys can see, it has a lot more space than what ours has right now. 
And it looks like, what is this? It looks like pig, a pig area. So we can start doing some pigs. Uh, manure, some sheds, lots of storage, a piece of land. How much is this actually going to cost us? I mean, $125,000. We can do that. And then we also get field 50, uh, 41, which I probably would plant some trees or something on there. Get a little bit of forestry going, maybe some poplar or something like that. Oh, nice little storage area right in here. See, this is a lot, plus a water station. That's a plus. See, this has a lot more storage than the other one does. The other one, it's really broken down. Okay, but we also do own another piece of land on here, which is, where is it at? Right over here. It is the Honey Pot Alignment, which we bought earlier for $11,000. Let's go over there and I can show you guys. We have Beehive, so we get money from them. And then we also have some greenhouses. We got some lettuce greenhouses, and then we got some tomato greenhouses. Which, uh, yes, we need to put some more water in here soon. And it looks like some manure. Yikes. Okay, but anyways, let's get started. You know what? Let's actually bring over the TLX and refill this real quick. Okay, so let's go over to here. Okay, we don't need that. Let's disconnect that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get to the honeypot alignment and refill all that real quick. Here we go. The good thing is, is on here, we can actually buy our own manure. So uh, I bought some manure. We have it in the gooseneck right over here. So let's go ahead and hook this thing up. And then we can put manure in there. We also need to get something for water. We do have 26,000. But I think we have something at the shop. Okay, let's go ahead and release that. The cool thing is, is this has one manure place. That is it. So you put the manure in there. And it's for all four of those greenhouses, not just only one. Is there anything actually in this building? Let's see. No, there isn't. It would be kind of cool if there was something. Can you open the door? Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can open the door. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's close that up. Let's get back inside. Okay, let's just release that. Um, we don't need this really. Um, hmm. But we need it for the other thing. Oh okay, yeah, we're gonna head back to the farm real quick, and we're gonna drop off the flatbed, and then we're going to get uh, some water. So here we go. No, I'm not getting water from my neighbor. You guys do not see anything. Close your eyes. <laughs> okay, we got water from our own land. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys didn't see that. I should probably edit that out. Oh well. Okay, uh, let's go drop this off and hopefully give some water to our greenhouses. Uh, that way we can start getting some money. I believe we get money every single day. I believe this is not also the only way to make money hourly. I believe if you buy this area right over here, the fishery, you can also get money too, which I don't got enough money for that. So, so we got fishery right there. And then right over here, we actually have Sam's Cider House. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I gotta remember where this turnoff is. It should be getting close. Let's pull up the GPS real quick. Okay, it's just right up here. Gotta make it right. Right there. Okay, let's go ahead and make it right. And I believe. Oops. Back up. Back up. This tanker looks a little bit different. You know, the. Uh, the truck has a blue splatter paint, and the uh, the tanker air is like perfect. Okay, I think this way. It's like a maze back here. Yay, we found it. Okay, so let's go right in here. Open that cover up. Yeah, see, we're at 25%, so it definitely needs some water. Okay, and there we go. How much is it gonna take? Uh, 70%, not too bad. Okay, we're gonna drop this off right here because we don't need it for anything else. Then we need to get back to the farm, get the fertilizer spreader and get some fertilizer on it. So lots of, lots of moving around today. I mean, not really working on the farm. We've been working on these and yeah. I also need to clear out all that manure out of there before we start our harvest. Which our harvest should be somewhere. Hold on, let's 
Let's actually pull up this real quick. A harvest should be so planted canola about the second, third day. So probably the end of summer is when we're going to be able to actually harvest it. And then we're going to do some winter wheat, maybe some winter barley. I don't know yet. Wait, actually, let me check that real quick. Ooh, if we do some winter wheat, then we might be able to harvest that the first, second day of summer. And then plant some soybeans. And then have that harvested by the end of autumn. So we might be able to get two harvests in next year. That would be very exciting and also get us a lot of money. Because that is the one thing we are in need of. 26000 is not going to last that long. Okay, I'm hoping I'm going the right way. Yeah. You see how much... This, this map is just so beautiful. Filled in. Just amazing. Look at that. GB did an amazing job on this. Here we go. Okay, we already have some solid fertilizer, which is right there. So let's go ahead and fill this up real quick. I love these pallets right here. These things are amazing. You can actually order in bulk. Those, this, so we actually still have some lime left. Uh, we got some, a little bit of seeds, and then we have all this solid fertilizer. And plus, of course, the TLX is an amazing truck, and the new update that came out today was amazing on it too. The spreader. Look how that fills up right there. All that solid fertilizer. There we go. Oh, it pretty much took basically one pallet. So let's go ahead and go to the, what is going on with the traffic? Uh, looks like there might be an accident up there or something. Who knows? Okay, move bird. Okay, go right down here. Okay, later on, I do want to buy that area. That is actually where the horses are. And there is our huge field. See, this field is no joke. It is big. We should get a really good harvest out of this. As long as we can get some fertilizer on it. Because I know it's at 0%. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, where is my entrance at? Somewhere over here. Ah, passed it up. Stop. There we go. Also, the geo I am using is actually made specifically for this map, which should be coming out hopefully in the next few days. Okay, let's go ahead and start putting some fertilizer down. This is the first time I've actually used fertilizer with the TLX. Look how slow it goes down. Wow. That is crazy how slow it goes down. Okay, you know what? Let's put on the radio and let's get some work done. We've gotten done, what, probably about one half of the field, maybe one third of the field. How much fertilizer did we use? 
Wow, this fertilizer is going to be lasting a while. Probably don't need to be buying it in bulk anymore, huh? But yeah, I... Yeah. <laughs> that just amazes me right there. Okay, there's that. Yeah, see, I already did the headlands. I went around about once or twice. I also did around that tree right there, which I love the place of that tree right there. Okay, oh, oops, I'm missing some, missing some. Don't want to be missing some. There we go. Okay, in a minute I'm going to hand this off. You know what? Let's actually hand this off to a worker. Okay, let's let him get this done. So, guys, that is going to be the first episode. When we come back, we're probably going to be doing some contracts. Maybe uh, fertilizing this again or might just do that off screen. Because we're trying to get that three fertilization states. So, we can get as much as we can uh, when we harvest this. Which, harvesting is going to take a while. Because, of course, we're going to be using the Bison ZO, is it ZO56, I believe? Uh, the Bison, yeah, it's, yeah, the ZO56. We're going to be using that, and that header is really small. Hopefully, we just are only going to have to use it for this one year. And then we can maybe upgrade into, who knows, something like, um, let's see, definitely a mod. Going to have to use a mod. Maybe a class or something. Maybe a for Shrit. We have the John Deere. That would be nice to get some John Deere on here. I don't know. What do you guys think we should actually start doing first? Upgrade the farm or upgrade the machinery? Let me know in the comment section below. Love that TLX. But anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. Remember, guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't said, make sure you guys do like always. Have an all-stay, farmers. Peace.